Hello everyone, my name is Iron Nancy, and today I'm going to be talking about the CW TV Arrowverse. Now, I love all the shows that are on the CW Arrowverse, and with this video, I'm going to be talking about the top five superheroes that I would like to see join the Arrowverse. And with the new series that is coming out, Black Lightning, that's coming out in 2017, I figured, hey, why not make a list of characters that I would like to see? If they can do Black Lightning, then I would like to see these particular characters. Now, I'm going to be leaving out a lot of, like, I guess A-level superheroes that everybody wants to see, like Batman and Wonder Woman and Aquaman and all that, and Cyborg. I'm just going to stick to mainly characters that I feel have a possibility like a strong possibility that could actually come onto the show. Now my number five pick is The Question, and I would love to see The Question appear on any of the CW TV shows, but mainly Arrow because I think that makes the most sense. He's more of a grounded character, not really a out of this world type character like The Flash or The Legends or Supergirl, or I guess Black Lightning. Uh, but I would love to see him appear on Arrow because he would sort of fill that detective aspect that's been missing ever since season one. Season one was an Arrow was sort of like all Batman and he would do a little bit of everything, a little bit of fighting, a little bit of training, a little bit of detective work, a little bit of computer hacking and science and stuff like that. And I just think that the question would be a really good addition to the already very filled cast of Arrow. And the Green Arrow would actually work in tandem really well with the question. And plus it would be a really good reason to bring back the Huntress because if you didn't know, he appeared in the Justice League Unlimited series, and that was a great portrayal of the question. He was very funny, he was a very charismatic character, and I love that portrayal. So it would not only be a reason to have the question there, but you could also bring back the Huntress, and they could have, I guess, the same sort of chemistry that they had in the Justice League Unlimited series. Now, my number four pick would have to be Static Shock, and I know with us getting the Black Lightning TV show, our chances of seeing Static Shock have now greatly diminished, but who's to say we can't get a few Easter eggs, a few teases, and then him actually showing up in the show. Now, he could fit into Flash or Supergirl, but I think he would fit the best into Black Lightning, considering that their powers are a lot alike, and he could... Black Lightning could be a mentor for Static Shock, who then would take over from Black Lightning, since Black Lightning would, I guess, get too old. And I really like Static Shock, because for anyone who watched the TV show knows why, he's a really funny character, he's down to earth, and he's just, he brightens up the mood. And he would brighten up this show, which is looking out, or turning out to be, something that looks like a darker side of it, a more, more arrowy than Flash. Although Flash is getting pretty dark as well. But I just love the character because he would spice things up and his powers, while being similar to Black Lightning, are different. And I think he would bring a, a new and unique taste to the DC Arrowverse. And my number three pick is one of my actually favorite characters in the entirety of the DC Universe is Doctor Fate. Now, the DC... Uh, TV shows have sort of stepped away from the magic element ever since John Constantine left and Arrow Season 4 ended. And Doctor Fate would maybe showing up in a Fortnite crossover or something like that, maybe I guess on Supergirl or The Flash, then introduce more magic type characters. So we could get Zatanna, we could get a revival of John Constantine. And what I would really like to see is a John Constantine and Doctor Fate team up. And I'm really interested on why they haven't brought this character back considering that he was already in the CW verse before. He premiered back on Smallville. So I would really love to see this character make a comeback because he is an interesting character. The Helmet of Fate sort of makes the user go insane and there are a lot of great plot points or I guess stories that you could tell with that particular dynamic and he could be an, a good guy at one time or a bad guy at the other, and considering that he serves the Lords of Fate, or I don't particularly know what they're actually called, I think they're called the Lords of Fate, uh, depending on what the Lords of Fate want, he could be an enemy and he could be a hero at the same time, and the man could conflict with the actual helmet, which would again be a really interesting dynamic, and which is why I would love to see Dr. Fate actually show up in the Arrowverse. Now my number two choice is Kyle Rayner 
Green Lantern. Now I say Kyle Rayner because even though there have been a bunch of references to the old Green Lanterns like Hal Jordan and Alan Scott, and Hal Jordan has even appeared on the CW Arrowverse in Season 4, I still think that we would have a better chance if we did get a Green Lantern to see someone like Kyle Rayner who doesn't really have an involvement in the movies that are going on. And I would love to see a Green Lantern not just because they've had all the references there, because of all the interesting powers that he has. And I think it would be a great dynamic for him to come in and interact with the superheroes considering that they are like space cops and he could direct them or correct them on what they are doing. And he does have humor about him and he is one of the most powerful Green Lanterns that have ever existed. I would just love to see Kyle Rayner because of his, his funniness. Again, that's kind of like Hal Jordan, but I just feel like we have a better opportunity of seeing Kyle Rayner and it just would just be so amazing to see a Green Lantern appear in maybe like a crossover or Arrow or The Flash. Now for my number one pick is Blue Beetle. The Jaime Reyes version with the whole battle armor scarab, the one that comes from the Reach. Now this was a really, really close pick between Green Lantern and Blue Beetle, but I just feel like it would be more cost effective and we would probably have a better chance of seeing Blue Beetle since he's not like a topless character like Green Lantern. And all the stories that could come out of him and like I said before, the Reach would also be amazing to see on television. It would sort of be like the Dominators except they come in peace and if you've seen Young Justice and you know exactly what I'm talking about, you could introduce the different scarabs, the different beetles that then attack Jaime, and it would be great to see his interaction, because again, a lot of the people on this list are funny characters, but if you've played Injustice 2, then you also know how funny Jaime can be as well, because everyone thinks of him as the noob, the scarab also malfunctions like all the time, it doesn't understand human emotions, and the chemistry between those two could be so incredible, it could be like an interactive Jarvis, but that's more upfront. And again, I mean, it would be cool to see, see Ted Kord, but I'm talking about the Jaime Reyes version, who I think would fit a lot better in this universe. Although Ted Kord fit, could fit really well into Arrow. And again, that's my top five list. See you out.